Here we are, we're coming to our portage area. Go off what my scouting reports say about Rosemont fans. We're back here in Studio B. Always good to be back in the studio. Yeah. Um, there were some rumors that, you know, with the SAG strike, that's maybe why we had gone out of studio, but uh, that was not the case. No. We're back in studio with our crew, uh, led by Darren. We really appreciate, appreciate him and his crew. So that's always good. Well, we're through with camp, and now we're heading to the Irish Invite this Friday, and we're pretty excited about it. Can you give us a little bit of history of the, the race and why we're hosting it and the team? Well, we'll get to the team. Yeah, well, it's the 22nd annual uh, Irish Invitational. We missed just the year the State High School League called it off with the yep. uh, with COVID. Uh, but uh, we've had, after this year, we're going to have one school that's been to all of them, other than us, other than us uh, Miles View Boys. Okay. But they do have a change. Ross Fleming has been their longtime coach since 1986. Legendary. Yeah, since 1986. Hall of Famer. Yep. Already? Uh, from Mountain Lake. Before he even retired, he became a Hall of Yeah, Famer. well, even he coached 36 years, you can do that. Okay. And so he's going to give up the reins, and they're going to have a co-head coach. As I know Eric Thompson's won. Second name, uh, apologize, name escapes me, but uh, okay. Miles View Boys will be back, and they will be the only team besides us that has been at every... every well, that first every. one, what were there, four teams there, five teams? Yeah, we had about five teams. We had uh, Rochester Century, we had Shakopee, Minnetonka, and at us yeah. and Mounds View and uh, and Tartan. Okay. okay. And Minnetonka has is not coming this year, so they're going to end their streak. Okay. And then uh, Tartan missed because uh, they had some school conflicts for a few years because of now schools are starting before yeah. Labor Day. Yeah, and you old school people have to know the course has changed over the years, and now with the addition of the turf fields, the course is even a little bit different than yeah. it was. Four or five years ago. Yeah, we've had a lot of a uh, lot of changes. They surprisingly, they've never really consulted us on the construction of a shocking of, yes. of a whole nother wing, yeah. the dome, turf too. Yeah. But we've we've always other made sports them. take priority over. Well, no, they don't take priority. It's mostly for phi ed classes. I understand that. Okay. Yeah. 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 And okay, so we've got the meet coming up. And uh, can you maybe just give us a little bit of a team preview? What team preview that, that would be yeah, fighting the, for the Well, we won it last year with 55 right. points. But By I, the way, would you happen to know how many times we've won our own invitational? Uh, I guess seven. Seven, eight, maybe. That's what I'm thinking, okay. too. So we've got, uh, we got Miles View, probably a favorite. They're uh, one of the top we, we two haven't or seen, three well, teams in the state. We haven't seen any rankings that have come out by the Coach Association. But if I had to rank, I'd probably put them... No offense, I'd probably put them third right now. Got Wyzetta's probably the man Minnetonka probably. Yeah, yeah. So so we got Mounds View uh, going at number three. Yeah. Uh, they'll be probably the favorite. Eden Prairie is south. They're very Always deep, so. la deep so. last yeah. year. Yeah. Got a lot and, of kids uh, back too. They, they do. They have a lot yeah. back. They 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 didn't have the really low card last year, but they really deep and deep JV. Yeah. Uh, Courtney Brandon's done a great job there since she took over for for Jeff Lindeleaf. Yeah. So they're solid. Uh, Osseo has already won an invitational, so they might get their white bears usually pretty good. Yeah. And then uh, we had a uh, St. Paul Como Park really showed through a year ago, and they, okay. they qualified for state in the in the first of the three class system. They qualified in Double A uh, last year, so uh, Tim Kersey's done a good job there at Como Park. And we can just maybe pick up some scraps, our team, or what are you thinking uh, we'll for Rosemont? We'll be in the hunt because individually. Uh, Andrew Schultz was a high place winner a year ago. Ran a great race yeah. at the alumni. Yeah, his and time at alumni was comparable to what he ran last very year. Very much so. So the he, Irish, so. he'll be up there. I think the favorite individually is Robbie Matura, even though he was about 14th last year. He's coming off of a, a COVID off of their camp. He broke nine for two miles last spring. He's got yeah. he ran 15.06 at the Heartland. Hello, yeah. I mean, yeah, come he, on. He's going to be favored, right? Uh, Cade Sandvik of Osteo was up there a year Excuse ago. Me, Mature broke nine minutes last year. Yeah, at the last state spring. Or last at, spring. Did he really? Yeah. Wow. Well. Okay. Yeah. And so we got Cade Sandvik then uh, uh, from Osteo. He's a, ran 156. He got speed plus he's got endurance. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got. Uh, Miles is going to have a slew of guys. They're looking for a low card, but they're going to be very they're going to be very deep yep. up front. Eden Prairie deep up front with guys, and then of course Hootie Hague won this event oh, two right. years ago from yeah, Prior yeah. Lake. He was third a year ago. Uh, he's coming off an injury in the spring, but uh, he could be a factor too. He's won this before, right? In fact, 
some of the individual, well, not just winners. If you take a look at the individuals yeah. that have run this race over the course of 22 yeah. years, yeah. I mean, the six degrees of separation, we can practically connect some of the runners to Olympic champions. Yeah, we really can. And can you go through a few? I'll give uh, just a few recently. Okay. Matt Wilkinson's had a tremendous career at the University of Minnesota. Was all he American an steeplechaser. Oh, I thought he was NCAA and, and champ. And he's, no. uh, he won in 2016 for Minnetonka. Yep. Acer Iverson is, was a <laughs> national qualifier at Harvard. He won it here for Roseville right. area. Yeah. Uh, we've had uh, with Jordan Carlson, our own Jordan Carlson. <laughs> Notre ran, Dame, great. Ran yeah. in Notre Dame. He won it a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, the course record, or the meet record, right. is Oliver Pauline of, of Highland Park. He's currently on the roster at Wisconsin. So you got to be thinking Matura has a shot at the, the course yeah. record, or the meet record. He's got a definite shot at the meet record. We'll see how he came off of camp. They usually go down to Whitewater yeah. uh, the first week. Yeah. of the season, they go with Miles View and White Bear Lake. And we'll see if White Bear really loves it. They were kind of down a little bit last yeah. year, but maybe they'll be back this year. Yeah, and the other thing uh, fans need to know, two miles on a cross country course is different than two miles on a track. Yeah, it is. So it is. Now we also got a few other races. We've got the JV race, which will be very competitive, yeah. C race, and ninth grade race. Teams can do whatever they want, however they want to enter it. Right. What we typically do is we will run our top seven on the varsity, then we'll run our juniors and seniors reserves in the JV, we'll run our sophomores in the C, and we'll run our ninth grade in the freshman race. So okay. just because they might in C or JV right. doesn't mean that that def necessarily means they're in a higher class or not. What you typically do is try to give each kid his his yeah. best race for him individually. Yeah. We'll sort the team stuff out. I'm sure we're gonna be mixing yeah. and matching throughout the season. Maybe you can go through our guys a little bit and expectations. Uh, I know we can't name everybody. Yeah, we're going to be up there in the, in the varsity. We expect oh, to be up there. Okay. I, I'm not saying we're going to contend for the win, but we'll okay. be up there. Okay. Uh, we've been pretty solid. We're going to run Andrew Schultz, yeah. obviously. Uh, we plan on right now Austin Bedette and Ethan Peterson will run. Us. Yeah. Uh, they'll be competing. They'll be that seniors. Connor Amos, a junior. Yeah. Uh, we'll have a couple of sophomores in uh, uh, Abe. Anderson and Drew Molinar, yeah. and then we'll run Boston Peterson as a freshman. Now, last year he won the freshman right, race as an eighth right. grader, yeah. and so uh, we feel he's already done that. So he's going to run varsity this time around. But right. we have in the past, Luke Labatt as a ninth grader ran the ninth grade race, yeah. and he's you know he was third in the Summit League a year ago for University of North Dakota. Yeah, running well right now, training yeah. hard. Yeah. Um, so when we look at things. Uh, other races, we get excited for those too. We really do. I mean, I think that's kind of one of the things that we like to talk about yeah. is that we get other, the C race, the JV, yeah. we, we look for trying to win those titles. Well, we really do. And I think that's gonna probably, I'd like to go into more, I don't wanna leave anybody out here, but we're gonna be competitive in the JV, the C race, and the ninth grade race, we'll see what we can do. We'll okay. talk more about that yeah. next week. And I think and you're going to introduce some of Yeah, our alumni right. shot, we're going to talk to uh, Peter Shane. Peter Shane is the one that made our Peter Shane Trail out here yeah. and uh, loved our camp. He might have been there the year that the Mikes got lost at the Salty Dog. Oh, he was there, and he's, he's done a lot of other things as well. So, okay. So, all right. right. First day of school tomorrow. All right. Get excited. We've got 2006 uh, graduate Peter Shane. We still have the Peter Shane trail that he developed. Still there. Yeah, from uh, Boy Scouts, Eagle Scout. So Peter, uh, can you tell us what you've been up to? And currently I work at Collins Aerospace. Uh, customer account manager, anal senior analyst, I guess is my uh, cool what position. But yeah, um, let's see, since then, to, I just coached too. Uh, you coach uh, like our AAA? Or? I, well, I did um, at All Saints uh, School in Lakeville. I'm the chess coach where I did do track coaching for this one nice. this past year. Um, Okay, so what's yeah. your favorite Rosemont cross country member? All right, so this is maybe a legend here. So okay. uh, cross country camp, or this has been 2005? Yeah, or yeah five if you're seeing, yeah. Uh, um, no, there's been four though. There's been four. So I was running with Nick Fioke down there, uh, Heather Dornadin, okay, as well as uh, Mike Bumgarner and, and Mike Warwick. Warwick when they got lost. So we were running. Uh, the three of us, Nick, Heather, and I, were like, we're pretty sure it's this way. Like, oh no, we're this way. And we were like, come on guys, let's get going. Like, no, we're gonna go this way. They went that way, and uh, we didn't see them until what was it like, probably five one or hours? two in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, they ran 22 miles. Yeah, it was 22 miles. Just for a whole marathon. They went to Salty Dog. Yeah. Uh, but I was running with. Yeah. All those guys, and so that was uh, entertaining. Yeah, well, doing great, that. great yeah. memory. Thanks.